Greetings, this is Preacher Rick. One more day with the Word of God for a few minutes, preaching for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm glad to be in your home or car or wherever you are today, and I'm glad to be sharing the Word of God one more time. I'd like to look, uh, look into the life and uh, or the uh, share the uh, ways of Michael the Archangel. Yesterday we did Gabriel, and those are the two archangels we know of, is Gabriel and Michael. Uh, in the book of Daniel, once again, uh, we saw Gabriel there. We also see Michael there. And uh, there's something special about these two archangels. And as I was telling you yesterday, they, they are a ranking angel, uh, different than the angels just the every, every day, if you want to call it that, not belittled an angel in any way, shape, or form, but not just an angel, but, but actually uh, a, a very special angel uh, that God uses for his glory. And in the book of Daniel, we saw, saw some yesterday about Gabriel. Today, we'll look about Michael. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, it is uh, very, very special uh, to read about. So we'll look in the uh, 10th chapter of Daniel this time. And uh, uh, he says in verse 10, And behold, a hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hand. Boy, it's time to get on our knees, isn't it? It is. It's time to humble ourselves down before the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and uh, to get close to God. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. So he was sent to Daniel, thank God. And when he had spoken the word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and that's something that the, Michael said to him. So we can say it's a message from Michael to Daniel, and it's for us. It's written in the Word of God for us to learn from. Uh, thank God. He said, uh, from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand, you have to want to understand God's ways. You have to want to have a desire and have a desire uh, to understand God's ways. Thank God. And to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were her. And I am come for thy words. In other words, uh, when you were sincere, God sent me. Amen. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me uh, once in 20 days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. So we see that Michael uh, is called here the chief, one of the chief princes. He's called a chief prince. And so the messenger said to him, the one that touched, the heavenly messenger that touched him said, thank God, that Michael, the chief, one of the chief princes, and I believe the two chief princes that we know of is Gabriel and Michael. And, and we know that we read yesterday, Gabriel stands by the Lord. And Michael said, uh, and one of the chief princes came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. So we know that there's a lot of uh, warfare going on in the world. Uh, we don't fight against, we fight against principalities and the powers of darkness. Uh, we don't know what all is going on in the world, but thank God for his word, right? Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. For yet the vision is for many days. So he helped Daniel to understand what would befall people. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to skip, skip through in here to get on the, the message about Michael and what how God used him and how we need to open our eyes and our hearts today like Daniel did. In verse 18, there came again and touched me one like the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me. Thank God for the strength that comes from on high. Uh, the Bible says our joy is our strength. Thank God. But God sent a special angel for extra strength at that time. The Bible teaches that we could entertain angels unaware. Uh, but let me tell you, uh, when God's no respecter of person. You get serious with God and he'll get serious with you. And said, O man greatly, verse 19, O man greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be unto thee. Be strong. Yea, be strong. So he's told to be strong. And uh, it reminds me of Joshua, how God commanded him to be strong and courageous. God wants us to be strong for him. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Grisha, 
shall come. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth. Thank God Christ is the truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he said, no man cometh to the Father but by me. And there is none that holdeth with me in these things but Michael, your prince. So he said, Michael, your prince. And, and uh, when I uh, read out of the book of Jude, uh, and I want to turn there just for a second, uh, I read verse 9. It's only one chapter long. I probably already shared this when I, I preached about uh, Jude. I'm not sure that I did, uh, but that doesn't matter anyway. It's the Word of God. In, in uh, verse 9 in that only chapter of the little book of Jude, right before Revelations, it says, Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuked thee. So he, he being the prince that he is, and the mighty angel that he is, he did not even dare to rebuke the devil because he knew who the devil was, all, that one called Satan also. He knew that he was a fallen angel and he was a prince also. And we know that he's the God of this world, little g, of course. But God, God, big G, our real God, there's only one true living God. He lets him reign for now, but he's very mad because he knows his time is short. Anyway, Michael would not even say the Lord, uh, he, I mean, uh, would not even try to rebuke him, but he said the Lord rebuked thee. So he respected the power of Satan. Now, if you turn over uh, to the book of Revelations, uh, there was a war in heaven. And it says in uh, chapter uh, 12 and verse 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Now, we're going to notice that the dragon is uh, he he is uh, Satan himself, uh, and uh, uh, and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Thank God, if God be for you, who can be against you? Uh, neither was there a place found any more in heaven. So they, that's when he got thrown out of heaven, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. W h o l e. Let me tell you today, and he's sure doing a good job of it today. Uh, and he knows his time is short. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And that's where you get your demons. And I heard uh, and noticed he, uh, how powerful he was. And Michael's a prince. So that means he's got angels under him, and Gabriel. And, and But uh, Satan didn't prevail, and he's not going to prevail in heaven. Thank God he didn't, then he never will. Uh, he was cast out of heaven, and hell was made for him and his fallen angels. Never made for us. And it's not God's will that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Thank God. And I heard a loud voice in verse 10 saying in heaven, Now has come salvation. <sighs> Glory to God. Now has come in the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, in other words. Uh, and strength and the kingdom of God uh, and the power of his Christ. Uh, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, uh, which accused them before our God day and night. Uh, and they overcame him uh, by the blood of the Lamb, uh, uh, by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that he shed on Calvary. Uh, thank God the church shall overcome. Uh, uh, the gates of hell uh, shall not prevail against the church of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and by the word of their testimony uh, and they love not their lives unto the death uh, thank God why because we're not of this world uh, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them uh, woe to the inhabitants uh, of the earth and of the sea uh, uh, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath uh, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time uh, he's full of wrath uh, but as I already said if God be for you who can be against you thank God forever uh, I'm so glad for the word of God aren't you uh, if it wasn't for the word of God we wouldn't have any hope whatsoever uh, but Michael uh, uh, thank God the prince uh, uh, came to Daniel and he helped and reveal things to Daniel uh, and he strengthened him uh, thank God and why did he come to him uh, for the same reason Gabriel came to him uh, because uh, he was sincere in his prayers uh, and prayed for help uh, are you praying for help today?
today. Uh, uh, we need the Holy Spirit today like we've never need him, uh, needed him. Uh, thank God Jesus said, I'll go away. Uh, he said, I must go away uh, that the Comforter might come. Uh, he said, it's expedient for you that I go away that the Comforter might come. Uh, uh, thank God. Uh, let me tell you today, uh, I find great comfort in the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, thank God for Jesus, uh, the author and the finisher of our, my faith. Uh, I'm so glad that my name's in the book of life and I have a peace in these turmoilous times uh, that we're living in. Uh, let me tell you, it's getting darker by the day. Uh, evil uh, is really expanding today. Uh, we're seeing darkness in the world, uh, and people are uh, uh, running to and fro, uh, acting like uh, it's going to be all right. But let me tell you, uh, uh, there's going to be a great day of the Lord coming. The rapture of the church will come uh, sometime, but until that day, whenever it might be, uh, uh, let me tell Tell you this, uh, we don't know what we might go through, uh, but your life must not be so valuable uh, uh, that you'd place it ahead of the Lord's work, uh, that you'd let uh, God fall second in your life. Uh, he said, I, the Lord, must be first. Uh, thank God. Uh, let me tell you, we need to live a sanctified, dedicated, consecrated life. Uh, uh, we need uh, uh, to devote, devote our time uh, and our life at the foot of the cross. Uh, thank God and uh, where that precious blood of the Lamb flows. Uh, he died on the cross that we might have life uh, and have it more abundantly. Uh, aren't you? Uh, don't you thank God for his messengers? Now God uses pastors uh, as messengers. Uh, that doesn't mean we couldn't uh, entertain an angel under, unaware. Uh, who knows that God might send Michael, uh, uh, the prince of the angels, uh, uh, to our rescue. Who knows we might send Gabriel. Uh, uh, thank God. Uh, in the meantime, uh, who knows the guardian angel he may have around us. Uh, but he'll send his uh, uh, preachers to preach the word uh, and we're saved by the preaching of the gospel uh, uh, thank God of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, who hath anointed these lips of play and called me to preach uh, and anoint called me dear God ordained me uh, uh, to preach the gospel and to get people saved uh, saved saved from a life of sin uh, that will cast you straight into the pits of hell but that's not God's will. He wants to save you. Hell's not a pleasant subject. Heaven's a pleasant subject. But they're both real. Oh, be obedient to the word of God. Obey the gospel. Listen to the voice of God. That's what Michael brought to Daniel. That's what Michael brought to John on the Isle of Patmos when he wrote the book of Revelations. The voice of God. I bring unto you through the Bible and through the preaching, the voice of God. For it's in Jesus' name we come to you. This is Pastor Preacher Rick saying we love you, beloved. We're praying for you. Glad you joined us one more day. God bless you. Bye-bye.